It is a new and dark age for the official servers. Admins that were previously absent when we needed them the most have begun terrorizing and wiping clans more efficiently than any alpha ever had. A bomb duplication glitch left live for weeks with no end in sight. Forbidden and overtuned weaponry from another world reigns supreme, wielded by riders of the most accursed beasts the exiled lands had ever seen. Clans survive by cowering behind their drawbridges, and the servers crawl to a standstill. It is in these turbulent times that our barely clothed and probably unwashed hero will attempt to make his mark. The Boulder begins his journey. The Boulder is conflicted about playing on official servers with an active bomb dupe, but we're gonna make it happen. It's really been, it's really, they make it difficult to have a good time in this game. They, they really do. It feels like it gets harder and harder every time I play. I've been actually trying to gather footage uh, off camera, like just trying to, you know, get something to happen. You would not believe how many dud playthroughs I've had in just the last month or two. My only goal is to have a good time, and I know it's probably a little early to start coping, but when you've been playing Conan for as long as I have, you know you gotta keep your copium close to the chest and ready to huff at any time. Only time would tell if that cope was premature or not. But before we can get into our no doubt exciting adventure, we need to take a second to thank today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. It's party time, people. Raid Shadow Legends is celebrating its third anniversary as one of the top RPG games on the market. This game started strong from the very beginning and never slowed down. The thing that really blows my mind is that even after establishing themselves as a leading mobile game, they didn't allow themselves to rest on their laurels and just kept adding new content and game modes every couple of months. An amazing addition to the game is the Doom Tower. This game mode introduced a whole new world of terrifying bosses to slay. Sprawling over 120 different levels, the Doom Tower brought exciting new challenges for seasoned players. And as a high-level collection RPG, raids started with hundreds of unique characters and bosses, but that didn't stop them from adding more and more new champions. The game designers must have had a field day creating some of these characters. Just look at the sketches, they look incredible. And if adding new characters wasn't enough, Last year, Raid added a whole new faction. The Shadowkin are a tribe of warriors from the Far East, recently liberated from the reign of evil. But that doesn't mean they're the good guys either. For me, they're one of the coolest looking factions in the game. And of course, no review can end without addressing the newest and biggest addition to Raid, the fearsome Hydra Clan boss. It's without a doubt the biggest and baddest boss to ever set foot in Teleria. Although I'm not really sure that Hydras have feet. This monster has multiple heads, each with a different ability and requires a different strategy to destroy. It can be quite discouraging, but victory will be well worth it in the end, since this boss gives some of the best artifacts in the game. Honestly, I could keep going on and on about Raid Shadow Legends. It's really the perfect game for all player types. It's no wonder they're celebrating three years, and I'm sure they're going to be around for many more to come. But we're not done yet. Raid's celebrating its third year anniversary after all, and they've got an insane amount of things in store. Raid's kicking things off with free gifts for everybody, then adding in a bunch of new content and events. We're talking new champions, new artifact sets, and a fully personalized video showcasing every player's raid journey and their own personal achievements. And if that's not enough, they've got a full month of special events and tournaments, with some of raid's best ever prizes on offer, including badass champions, piles and piles of shards, and tons of other goodies. If you're not playing raid yet, hit my link in the description or scan my QR code here on the screen. You'll get a special huge birthday package worth $40. We're talking three free champions at once, Misericord, Tiger Soul, Romero, plus 10 Magic XP Brews, 10 Force Experience Brews, and 10 Spirit Brews. It's kind of big, but the gifts keep coming. All new and existing players will get a bunch of free birthday gifts worth over $25. If you're in-game after clicking on the links, just enter promo code 3 years Raid to get your hands on everything. And it's just that easy. Click the link in the description, and I'll see you in-game. As I began this playthrough, the specter of bomb duplication being wielded by anyone and everyone was always in the back of my mind. Farming up a base as a solo player was already relatively pointless, but the added futility of spending considerable time to fortify a base when you're competing against infinite amounts of explosives is kind of depressing in a cosmic sort of way. So instead, we return to our roots. Much like the first ever raid video on this channel, we'd avoid building a base entirely and live off the land carrying our loot in our pockets and stashing them in tiny locations around the map. After all, you don't have to worry about protecting your base if you have no base, or so the theory goes. But until then, our playthrough would begin like any other, with a little bit of scouting, grubbing, and maybe a little bit of horse abuse. Imagine. Just imagine. Gropes. I 
don't think it's supposed to let you do that. Huh. Imagine. I imagine! Two of them! Disgusting. <laughs> Yay! I, I, I mean, I, hey, he's, he's enthusiastic about whatever's yeah. going on here. The female archer does not seem interested. Yay. This is a total sausage fest. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it's not like there's a shortage of shirtless men in the Exile Lands, is there? There we go. The first real base I've seen. Let's take a closer look. We're in, boys. If there's not an elevator trap, we can ride it straight to the top. Yeah, there was a trap. I figured there would be, but you know, you, you gotta try, right? Naked with nothing to lose. <laughs> Imagine. I just seen a foot chase. What was it chasing? Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Take a cheeky peek in here as long as we're passing by. Aha! Horse abusers caught in the act. But, but it wasn't my stable officer, it was borrowing it from a friend. Yeah, yeah. Tell it to the judge. Oh, that uh, third horse in my pocket? <laughs> you thought I was gonna keep it? <laughs> <laughs> I was actually gonna keep it, but I'm probably gonna freeze to death when I cross the bridge. Well, it ain't much, but it's honest work. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna come clean, guys. I've been stalling. I've been engaging in shenanigans because I don't want to level. I'm going to show you guys what I have to do every time I play this game, because I have to make a new account every time. Just just, just watch. You're, you're, you guys are going to love it. Yay. Woohoo. Yippee. Yes. This is what keeps me coming back to Conan. Oh, yes. Very much so. I can hardly take it. Wow. Wowie zowie. You know, I read Robert E. Howard's short story. Uh, he was friends with Lovecraft in real life. And they um, they collaborated from time to time. Uh, and uh, Robert E. Howard, he put Conan in a sort of a Shadow Over Innsmouth story. But instead of fish people, it was fish traps. And instead of, like, a story, he just sat there and built and dismantled them until he was given permission to do something else. It was, it was really good, good read. Highly recommended. Five stars. Incredible. If any of you guys want to, like, kill me in real life, not now's a good time. <sighs> Alright, we made it. <sighs> Took me three hours, but we're level 60. We're gonna get on with our day. We hit 60 without making any enemies. That's, I mean, besides that one clan. We did despawn their horses. You know how clans get when you touch their stuff. What did you just put in your pocket? What was, no, I saw you put something in your pocket. What was that? What did you put in there? What is in your pocket? We're making good time, though. Uh, I have a couple other places I want to check. The only other thing, there's, there's one, like, my to-do, my first day on a server always involves leveling to 60 and getting the Jebel Sog dungeon, which are the two things that I hate the most in this game. We're going to go buy a Thrall, because it's faster than, than catching one, and then we're going to go do it, and you're going to see what I mean. And it, I feel like the only reason I hate it so much is because I have to keep doing it over and over again. You, you'll see. Sit, sit tight for a sec couple of noobs just sleeping outside uh, y'all y'all got any food <laughs> I'll, I'll leave them alone they're, they're clearly having a rough enough time as it is any food wow they've got four bees <laughs> I've, I've been reduced to eating handfuls of bees out of the pockets of an unconscious homeless man <laughs> we're uh, we're at rock bottom aren't we I mean, I, I could eat them, couldn't I? 
Nah, it's, they're, they're having a rough enough time as it is. That, that would be that would be mean. What? I found him this way, honest. I swear. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll put the body to good use. I'm gonna keep the legs, I'm gonna do something with it, okay? I promise, I'll use them to farm or something. Barely been on the server a day and I've already eaten two homeless people. I feel like I need an intervention. See, what, what, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? I told you that leg was gonna come in handy. Everything happens for a reason. All right, this, this is it. This is the fight I was talking about. This is why I hate this fucking dungeon. It's a cool dungeon. I like the way it looks, like the way it feels. This fucking fight. Are you seeing a problem here? He just sits there and spams this AOE crowd control, knock you down nonstop attack. He'll stop once every year and do a charge that leaves him vulnerable. But the other 99% of the time, it's like, when, when am I? When do I get to hit him? When is it my turn? Mom says it's my turn to hit the target. Like, what the fuck? Ah, <sighs> whatever. It only took seven years. Whatever. Whatever, we're moving on. We're moving on. All right, watch this. Watch this fight and tell me that this dungeon wouldn't drive you insane. Imagine having to do this fight every time you want to play. Come on, get in there. Go get him. Come on. I'm already miserable. Get over there. Come on. Come on. Is it because I named you Richard? Alright. Look, watch. You can stagger him. But just wait just wait till he gets free of the stun lock. Ah, there it is. There it is. There it is. He just He just teleports everywhere. It's, it's madness. And these fights, they don't have downtime. They will just continue, exactly like this. They will just continue to chain attacks until you die. Oh my God. Please. Just hit Richard and leave me alone. All right, we did it. You know, I've, I've got a good feeling about this server though. I did some scouting earlier, not, nothing major, not a super thorough scouting, just the major locations. And it doesn't look like there's one major clan, it looks like there's a whole bunch of clans all built up. And I saw a bunch of pillar bases, which is exciting, because cave bases, if it's if it's a drawbridge bubble base, nobody can raid it. Not me, not a clan, not nobody. And uh, plus, raiding a cave base is very boring, you know, there's, you either bomb your way in or you got it. Like, there's not a whole lot of room for creativity, you know what I mean? So it's, it's exciting to see a whole bunch of different kinds of bases, because my, my, the raids that I prefer to do are those really complicated ones, like in the solo video I did a long time ago. Because that's when you can really start to show off your game knowledge and do something impressive. Something like that's good for TV, right? Good for watching. Because, you know, pretty much anybody can throw a god at a base with no bubble on it, right? But you, sometimes you want to do something a little, a little creative. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be cautiously optimistic. I think that this server could be spicy as long as nothing stupid happens. The early game had gone incredibly well. Every star metal node we hit would break. Our mercenary wound up being a rare tier three instead of a tier two, and we had successfully set up a number of stash locations around the map. Everything was going smoothly, which put us in a position to act quickly when new information arose. Rumors in the chat were spreading of hidden bases across the map, a flying base, and some stash loot owned by none other than Admirals, the very same clan that had narrowly dodged me on the server prior. I had already seen their names in the chat from time to time and noticed their usual spot was claimed by them, so it became my priority to find their hidden loot and steal it for myself. 
but as it turns out, I would find them much sooner than I had first expected. <sighs> We're going hunting, boys. I got a good feeling about this trip, though. I've covered a lot of the weird areas of the map already just by accident, so I should hopefully be able to find something in very little time. I'm hearing rumors about flying bases. I'm hearing rumors about admiral stashes. And of course, everybody's accusing everybody else of duping, which I'm, I'm just assuming everybody's duping. I'm not even gonna, <laughs> I'm not even gonna wait till I see proof. <laughs> I've been on these servers long enough to know that if there's an exploit, everybody's using it. That's just how it is. It's a shame, but what are you gonna do, boys? We're gonna start with the Southern Green Wall because uh, I've already checked a couple volcano locations and most of the usual hiding spots in the middle of the map. So if I had to bet, they're probably up here somewhere. Imagine, imagine using a horse. But where there's a horse, there's probably a base or possibly a body vault. So we're gonna poke around here before we move on because finding a random horse set to guarding in the middle of nowhere little suspicious the trusty foundation sweep always comes through for me when i'm looking for stuff oh well that was quick <laughs> you found it boys doesn't uh doesn't look like much but uh you know, I, I found one of their bases on the last server that also looks suspicious like this. It led into the green wall. I even marked it on my map as Suspicious Admiral's Base. But it's also possible that somebody else got to this before me. So we'll, we'll just poke around. It's, it's also possible maybe they meshed some chests into the foundation. So we'll check that in a sec. Aha! Ooh, promising. It's not that much. I mean, bonds are nice, but, you know, it's a start. What have we here? Oh, I can't, I can't even carry it all. The loot. The inconceivable loot. <laughs> oh, my God. We found it. What the fuck? I scouted for five fucking minutes and we found it. Hey, Admirals, if you're watching, suck my fucking dick, guys. <laughs> you got yourselves banned off the last server, and you're going to get grubbed to death on this one. <laughs> yeah. Hey, thanks for the loot. <laughs> ah, that feels fucking good. God, this is so much. Oh, I'm going to have to make some tough choices. There's some, there's some loot here, boys. The server is full, so I'm going to squat here and, and just ogle at my loot like a goblin and wait for the server to die down before I move this shit. It feels, there's, it feels three times as good because today was going to be my day where I was going to farm up all my necessities like alchemical base and hide and all that shit. So not only did I get everything I need and then some, but I stole it from admirals of all people. Uh, let me tell you guys, so, so, sometimes this game really comes through for you. <laughs> not always. In fact, usually not, but sometimes. I laid there and I waited till the server was very, very quiet before moving. And when I did, I was able to safely transport it to one of my shacks. I knew that if I was able to find this much loot in a single stash, it was worth looking for more. And there was still a flying base allegedly on the server owned by an unknown faction. So I took some time to continue scouting for just a little bit longer. All right. Yesterday was a phenomenal day. Phenomenal. The weather was nice. It was like 75 degrees, warm, sunny. I lent money to, well, I didn't lend. Uh, somebody that I knew needed money and I gave them money and I told them, don't even worry about paying me back. And then we bumped into each other and they paid me back in full the other day. Just handed me a check, insisted upon it. Well, you know, not gonna argue with that. Beautiful day, some free money, and we got to steal from admirals of all people. Just a, f a phenomenal day all around, and we didn't get ganked while, while moving the loot. So today, we're going to try to keep it going. 
It wasn't a lot of loot for a clan of their size, right? Like, for a clan of 10 people, I'm sure they've got a farm server with just vaults full of stuff. But for a solo player, it's a lot of loot, but they probably never felt it. So we're gonna, we're gonna look. We're gonna see if there isn't any, uh, any other secrets hiding on this map. Do a little bit more scouting. I set up a shack the other day and got two Jebelsag uh, Archpriests named Priests, believe it or not. It took me all day, because for whatever reason, it just wasn't spawning Archpriests. But we have two named Priests in the oven. And we got four Archpriests out of that box, so we're, we're sitting fairly well for the rest of this playthrough, I think. Oh, looks like they're home. Hello in there! <laughs> Kronk's Guide to Social Interaction. Climb on the roof, stamp around, make grunting noises so they know you're there, refuse to elaborate, leave. It's that simple. A Guide to Making Friends by Kronk. Imagine. Immune to this tier of... Guys, it's too strong for me. The spillway's open. I almost never see this spot open. That's kind of weird. Oh, how freaky is that? I was literally... I was literally just down there and there was nobody in that cave. I climbed the cliff, somebody claims it. <laughs> I was gonna say, it was so weird that that spot wasn't claimed. That is phenomenal timing though. The fuck happened here? There was a huge base here like a day ago. These guys must have gotten admin wiped. These guys must have gotten banned. There's no other... I mean, how, how else do you explain this? They're foundation wiped. Yeah, this place got cleaned out. Look at them. There's, they were asleep in their beds as the ghost of Funcom came in the night and deleted the base. That is depressing. I had plans for coming back here because you could get into their elevator trap and then just use arrows to go through the door. <sighs> I guess not, though. That's all right. Just one base down, I guess. I are na oh yeah, this guy was an admirals. <laughs> might as well, <laughs> might as well beat him to death. I guess uh, somebody else must have found him before I did, because he probably had stuff on him. But uh, there, there's a chance the other admiral stashes got found. That's probably why they were talking about it in the chat. But yeah, it's still worth looking. Hmm, another suspicious horse. Well, where there's a horse. There's probably a stash, or at the very least a body vault, because this is a popular body vault location. See, the horse gives it away. If there wasn't a horse, I would have just foundation swept and then left. I wasn't going to comb over this spot, but I'll take my time with it. We're going to find something here, I swear to God. Aha! What did I tell you? <laughs> well, <laughs> Guess they can't all be loaded, huh? <laughs> that uh, that wasn't really worth the uh, 30 minutes I just spent up here coming through every crack and crevice. I fully expected to be vi like fully vindicated with a loaded body vault owned by admirals and go, ah, see, see boys, this is why you scout, boys. Knowledge is power, after all. <laughs> uh, whatever. You hate to see it. <laughs> These guys didn't even get a chance to build it up yet, and they got raided. That's uh, that's a bummer. I'm I'm rapidly losing my will to play on this server. Now, let me let me explain. Okay, I was hyped. I was kind of hyped because initially, it looked like there were going to be a lot of major pillar bases. There was one by the Savannah that wound up never getting built up. Admirals wound up being a no-show. They never built up. I just checked their base earlier. This base got raided, and they they gave they gave up on it, judging by the decay timer. Uh, and that other base got admin wiped. So basically in the span of two days, every pillar base has disappeared and the only two clans that are left on the server that are built up that I would want to raid are both in drawbridge bubble locations. One's at the keyhole and one's at the barracks. So basically, my chances of having fun in this server just went from like 50% down to maybe 2% in the span of a day. <laughs> Ah, uh, Jesus, man. I've never had my enthusiasm spike so quickly and then also deflate, deflate just as quickly. This is... This is rough. I'm starting to get some bad vibes from this server. This kind of reminded me of the last time I played on the EU server. It just wound up being a bum-ass server when nothing happened. 
It's, it's just the state of the game, though, isn't it? It's like, even servers with people on them are so low energy, nothing's happening. People will either quit or get admin wiped before anything happens, and that's just the way it is. And then you're just stuck dealing with drawbridge bubble bases, which is pure fucking cancer. So I guess uh, the, the play, we're just going to kick it into high gear. Uh, I guess pick a target and make a move and then leave before we get memed into spending another month on a dead server. We're not doing that again. We're not having a replay of the solo run. Oh, and uh, almost forgot, icing on the cake. The two clans that are left that I would want to raid, it turns out they're buddies, they're friends, they're allies. Isn't that, isn't that nice? Isn't that sweet? Isn't that wholesome? Wholesome gamer moment. Two clans that are friends with each other. One of them is a full 10 man, and they're both hiding in uh, cave bases, and they're looking out for each other. Isn't that, uh, isn't that sweet? <laughs> and in the back, in the background of all of this, almost every clan is being accused of duping explosives since I joined the server. The absolute state, my dudes. The absolute state. We're getting real desperate now. We're checking the real cheeky spots. Every so often, there's somebody hidden back here. Oh, I bounced off the wall. He was supposed to grab it. Come on. All right, maybe, maybe we leave the scouting for now. I think we've done enough scouting. Despite our lucky start, Conan Exiles progressed in its usual way as nearly all of the competition we were excited to see dissipated in the span of a few days. Fearing another dead-end playthrough, we made it our goal to quickly choose a target and get some kind of a raid in before the server fully succumbed to the usual factors. Before long, the decision was made for us, as we were minding our own business, running naked and free, we were slain by a man on a horse using a spear of the harpy, and as added salt in the wound, he took our only possession at the time, the plant fiber in my pockets. The prerequisite to gruel, the most sacred of all things. Knowing time was of the essence, we prepared accordingly. The fuck was that about? The guy's name was Mr. Friendly, so I approached him. He tried to knife me and then ran away. <laughs> Didn't seem very friendly to me. All right, guys, we got a busy day today. We've been slain, we've been robbed, humiliated even. We gotta go get some revenge. We're gonna we're gonna gather up our loot from our various stashes. We're gonna consolidate our archpriests. Uh, I should have enough. I have two archpriests for Jebel Sag, two for Mitra, two for uh, another one. I've got six all together. That's all I remember. And we're racing against the clock here. I've been keeping an eye on the on the religious tab. These guys that killed me, they're not very good about maintaining their bubble. They have a bubble, but they don't keep it up all the time. So we gotta move quick. We're gonna set up a shack, we're gonna get favor, we're gonna consolidate our stuff, and we're gonna make a move. This should actually be the easiest part. Uh, this is a European server, so if I play at like 8 o'clock my time, this server's gonna be empty, so I should have free farm of the Black Galleon. It's still gonna take me a few hours, but that's compared to, you know, many, many, many hours, right? I'll take it. Boom. We're in business, boys. We'll come back to this later. I've got a shack in the north I want to check real quick, and I already moved the Jebelsog Priest, so we should be good there. Did you report Cheekito for this? No, why would I report it when I can find and raid it? Because it's cheating. How can you be sure that for the one you know, there isn't another one you don't know? Or are you personally okay with cheaters? I mean, I don't care about cheaters, most of them are bad. You can fight them because you have a full clan. If it's not a problem for you, you are part of the problem I am afraid. Oh. Oh. I just witnessed a murder in the chat. Coven took this guy out back and put him down. Oh my god. I need some ice. This guy just spat some fucking fire at me. And he's right too though. These these clans are so, they're so cringe. And of course LVG is in the clan of the guy that killed me naked with a horse, full silent legion and the spear of the harpy. These dudes play the game on easy mode and they're like, no, no, the, the reason we win is because we're so good at the game. Hmm, are you, you sure about that? Could it be that you're a full clan living out of a drawbridge bubble base in the keyhole, allied with the only other built-up clan on the server? Could, could maybe that be it? Could it be that you're playing a fundamentally flawed game in a way that gives you an insurmountable advantage because they're huge fucking pussies? No, 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 it's because they, they don't have as much skills as us. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Go, go hide in your bubble base, my guy. The servers only hold 40 people max. 
And then you got people that roll on a server with 10 people, claim base locations, cover their map rooms, absolute sweat gods, when, when the next largest clan has like three people on it. It's at some point you gotta... If that's what it takes for you to, to dominate a server, then you're just not that good. I hate to be the guy that says it. You get the worst of both worlds on these servers too, because half the people are so full of themselves they won't report cheaters, and the other half is going to report you just for having a base and the admin swipe you. Just the state of this game. Doing a little bit of recon. Pretty sure these guys are gone for the day. Doesn't look like they built it up too much. There's a, a bunch of annoying thralls in the courtyard, but I should be able to just come in from the back with Jebel Sag and... I don't know, just slap it and leave. I'm not looking for a long-term war because I want to get off this bum-ass server. So I think, I'll, I think I'll hit him and just leave. Everything else is in place, so... As long as their bubble stays off, we can make a move. But of course, if they start maintaining their bubble, then they're just going to be unraidable. That's just how it's going to be. So we're flipping a coin tomorrow. Just got to get all the favor together, and then we're uh, cruising. We're making fantastic time, boys. The server's dead quiet right now. So I'm just farming the two biggest cities back to back. And if you can see, we're using Admiral's own weapons to do the farming, which has been a huge help, actually. All in a day's work, boys. All in a day's work. I think I'll try to set up a little pillar base just to house the altar while I craft the coin for tomorrow. And then we're literally set. We're almost free, boys. Not a moment too soon, either. After those other clans quit and uh, the one got wiped, the servers took a nosedive in terms of pop. Like, when I was farming the favor, I was literally the only person online for, like, six hours. Last Friday, we had, uh, like, 20-something people. Like, this server used to be full during the raid window with a queue to get in, and then we had 20-something on during the raid window this Friday. I've only been on the server, like, five days, and it's already dropped so much. Oh well, it is what it is, right? So we're going to set up this little pillar base to house the altar. We're going to craft the coin. We're not going to craft it now. We're going to craft it later, of course. But we're, it's going to house the altar while we craft it. And uh, whatever happens, happens. I'm going to despawn my stuff before going to the raid. Whether I win or lose, I, I want to get off this server. I don't want to get baited into spending another month on a dying server. It's kind of a, a little, little too depressing for my taste. I can't keep the loot because I've actually got a character uploaded on this account already, so we're just going to despawn it for safety's sake. But uh, I'm going to get some sleep once this is done, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. The stage was set. Soon we would be putting our incredible start to good use. Our altar was safely housed and blood was given to the gods. Our loot was safe and our plan was sound. Everything should go according to plan. I had already found a location near to their base that I could use to summon safely. I had tested my god in single player to ensure the proper angle to damage the base while killing the thralls. I made sure to pack a sandstorm mask to prevent them from poisoning me as I summoned. I had watched the event log and knew their bubble was unlikely to be up on the day that I struck, and I knew that if I caught them unaware, it would be too late for them to do anything anyways. I knew that this would likely be my only chance, as if this failed, all that we'd need to do to become invincible is to activate that bubble, and I would be without recourse. So I made my move, certain that I could enact some kind of revenge before leaving, knowing that I had remembered everything. Almost everything. In fact, I had forgotten something extremely important. Some would say the most important thing of all. I forgot that I was playing a game made by Funcom. You gotta be fucking kidding. Jesus fucking Christ. As soon as my god was summoned, I got a fatal error and my game crashed. And by the time I got back in the game, the god had despawned, dealing no damage to anybody. Several days of farming and planning disappeared in an instant. If that isn't the quintessential official server ending, I don't even know what is. It's the, the state of this game sometimes. That crash has been in the game since forever. It's rare, but it's been in the game forever. You summon a god and you crash. It's just... What do you do? I can't even be mad. I'm just like, I'm hollow on the inside when I play this game. The only two people that attacked me in the wild. One tried to cheese me with daggers, and the other one killed me from horseback with a spear of the harpy. 
half the competition either gave up or got admin wiped, and the only people that are left are in potentially unraidable drawbridge bubble base, and of course, they're allied together, because you can't have competition on a Conan server. All the while, in the background, every clan is either duping or accusing others of duping, because there's been a bomb dupe live for fucking weeks. But hey, sure, you know what, I ignore it, I'm like, whatever, I put my head down, I'm productive, I get some loot, I get some shenanigans, I'm ready. I plan anyways, I get my one opportunity, the one, they don't have their bubble up, I'm ready to make a move, and I, I crash to a crash that's been in the game since forever. That's just going in a nutshell. Uh, hey, whatever. But, but, Zero, it's a, another playthrough where but nothing happened. I, pff, this game's fucking unplayable, I don't know what to tell you guys. I, I don't even know what to tell you. I'm not even going to look at the global chat. I don't think my heart could take it. <laughs> I'm out. I'm done. I'm tapping out. I'm leaving the server. <laughs> I'm tapped out. <sighs> I got to find another game to play, guys. <laughs> I got to move away from this.